morning YouTube. Today I'm at uh, Royal Palm which is just inside the entrance to the Everglades uh, on my way out. But this is one of my favorite spots to stop. I usually stop here on my way out. Um, lots of gators. Um, last year when I was here I think there was about 18 of them. Now there's these four and there's another one over there. The, um, they have been reconstructing the bridges to let more water come through. So the water is a lot higher. Last year it was, a, it was sort of dry around here. But uh, we'll take a walk around and see what we can see. Probably going to get a few still shots, maybe some action shots. But let's get walking around. So as I've said before, as, as we think about the Everglades, we think about the sea of grass, um, but just a, a couple of feet of elevation can make quite a difference. As you can see behind me, um, just a couple feet higher is its Paradise Key Hammock, and uh, basically a small island in the sea of grass with a, um, uh, a lot of hardwoods and the, uh, the royal palms that are over there. Uh, in 1916, the uh, Federation of Florida Women's Clubs uh, preserved this and built a lodge here, called it uh, Royal Palm Lodge, which is why, and that it is Royal Palm State Park, which is why it's called Royal Palm now. Um, the, uh, after that, there was a lot of drainage of the Everglades and the that caused a lot of, uh, basically caused drought and there were some wildfires came through here 1945 it just ripped right through here um, the lodge was still there and in 1954 they moved it into homestead but the um, just that that whole misunderstood notion of uh, it's a swamp it's useless we need to drain it uh, that prevailed back then uh, caused a lot of damage. Then when they did make this into a state park, or I mean a national park, and uh, they're still working on it. Um, there's a road north of here uh, that slowed a, the water coming down from the north, and they have been uh, putting in bridges and taking out that, that road so that the water could come through, which is why one of the reasons the water is so much higher uh, here this year than it was last year. So I am going to wander back to the bus and get on the road. And uh, after I leave the park, I got one more stop I want to make before I find a place for the night. So I'll see you when we get there. So this place intrigued me, Everglades Gator Grill. Uh, I'm not sure about gator bites. Haven't had frog legs in about 50 years. <laughs> so I'm going to go see what they got, see what they recommend. Alright, well, I did decide to get the, uh, the frog's legs, and they are, they lightly bred them, I have an idea how big this one is, uh, lightly bred them, and then um, fry them to get them a little crispy, and then uh, saute them in some uh, in a wine sauce, comes with fried uh, plantains, and I've also got an order of fries coming, um, but I am going to enjoy lunch, and um, I will see you down the road, YouTube. Bye.